Look at these kids. Have you seen this picture? It's gone mega viral. President Biden in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, stopping for a picture, I think, at the volunteer fire department. Look at these great kids. And look at what they're wearing. They're Trumpers. They're Donald Trump, the Make America Great Again hat. They're happy to be there. Uh, is the president uh, thrilled with what they're wearing? I don't know, but Donald Trump is. Look at what he put out here, a statement today. These kids tricked Biden just like the Taliban did. I love it. I saw this picture this morning. I tweeted the heck out of it, and I said, these are great kids, and I'm so pleased that they're on the show right now. Welcome to you. Got a whole mess of them. We got the mom, <laughs> Jana and Jen. I'm sorry about the voice. How are you guys, all of you? Can everybody hear me okay? Hello. Oh, good, good, good. Listen, I just love what you did. I love the picture. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, look, I'll ask you first, Jana. I think you're in the. You're on the. Hi, Jana. Did the, uh, Did Joe Biden <laughs> say anything about the Trump hat and the uh, the T-shirts and all that stuff first? Did he notice? Uh, girls speak because he was. He talked to them. Um, he, whenever he was talking to us, he, about the merchandise, he said that he does not care if, like, um, he doesn't care if, if we don't like him, but he's going to like us. Hey, Jenna, I'm going to have to go back to you. I'm having a hard time hearing. Forgive me. Just give me the gist of it. Was Joe in on the joke or not? Not um, that yeah, he knew that they were wearing the hats. And hey. he's one of the girls, he said that um, he likes their hats, and it's okay if they don't like him. Well, you know what? That's a pretty good way to handle it. And by the way, it's not a joke. You guys are Trump supporters, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm glad you did it. Uh, let me ask you, I guess I'm going to ask the, the little girl in the, uh, in the blue hat, if you don't mind, the glasses, I recognize you from the picture and the one with the t-shirt proud to be an American right up there in front. Anybody who wants to take this question, did you feel like, you know, you were gonna get into trouble or something? You seemed like you might've been giggling in that picture a little bit. I certainly would have been. Um, what were you thinking during that picture? A little nervous. Just a little nervous, okay. Hey, listen, I saw that Joe Biden, um, you know, he was respectful or was he, did he say anything weird? Let's face it, he has a habit of uh, saying and doing weird things. Did anything happen that we could not see in that picture that might be interesting? Um, well, he did have his hand around my waist. He what? He had his hand around my waist. Around your waist? Oh boy, did you feel, I'm sorry, did you feel uncomfortable? Not really. All right. Well, that's good. I mean, oh, gosh. What a, Joe, Joe um, tell me a little bit, Jana, back to you. Uh, this was, of course, to remember the events of September 11th, 2001, and the people of Shanksville that responded to that horrible plane crash in your neighborhood. Were you there back then, 20 years ago? I was. I was actually in ninth grade. Um, I I think it was a social studies class I was in. We actually saw, we didn't see the plane crash, but we saw a big fire cloud and it, we felt like the rumble and all the doors in the school building slammed shut. And forgive me, Jen, uh, you're, you're another mom there on the left in the blue, I understand. Um, and forgive my situation here. This is bad. I'm just dying. Uh, what are your thoughts? How did you feel overall? Do you give Joe Biden credit for coming and for taking the picture? Or is there something you wanted to say to him that you didn't say? What are you thinking overall about, uh, about what happened? Yeah, I think honestly, we were really surprised he came over to the kids to take the picture. Um, we were taking pictures from a distance. Um, we didn't know he was coming. So it wasn't um, something that we planned ahead of time. It was just, uh, you know, we came to the fire hall to support the fire department and you know, celebrate the day and, and remember the day. And it was just, uh, it was a little surreal that he actually came over and, and talked to the kids and uh, agreed to take a picture with them or got in a post to take a picture with them. Well, 
He likes kids, we've seen. Uh, all right, now to the little girl in the front row who's wearing the blue shirt, proud to be an American. Uh, I noticed you this morning, and I noticed the shape on your American flag. What is that shape? A unicorn. A unicorn. Okay, very nice. For a moment, I thought, oh, forgive me, I thought it was Afghanistan. I was like, what is this? So, uh, okay, it's, it, it, it's a... Corn. <laughs> okay, okay. We're going to leave it at that. Kids, uh, that picture was amazing. And I think it's fantastic that you, uh, that you wore your gear. And you know what? I'm going to give, I'm not a fan of Joe Biden's, but I'm going to give him a little bit of credit for taking the picture as you are wearing the Trump gear. And he's smiling and he's going along with it. He didn't have to do that. You mentioned it. So, hey, for a few moments there, I think he did okay. Uh, am I giving him too much credit, Jen? What do you think? Maybe a little too much. I thought it was interesting that he didn't have his mask on either. Oh, All you're right things. about that. All right. I take it all back. <laughs> uh, well, I applaud you kids. Uh, you kids are great, and so are your parents, and uh, I got to go, and uh, you guys take care, and uh, I will never forget this, and I'll never forget that picture. All the best, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Take care now. Good night, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs>